was your relationship with Pac while in high school? I was my dog, man. Um, took me around the world. Introduced me to everybody. Uh, like you said, I was his closest road dog at the time, man. So it was a beautiful thing. How, uh, what was the first time you met him? What was that like? Well, the first time I met him, it was at Echo Sound. I was in a, a, doing a session. He came up there with Mo in his uh, truck. And uh, at that time, he was just, he had just got a deal, whatever. I was doing my thing, and I just met him, listened to some stuff he was doing. It was cool, and, and that was it. Then one day, he popped up in my neighborhood with one of my homeboys named Serge Mack. And at the time, Serge's cousin, Watani, was his manager. Me and him hit it off. I was doing my thing, and we just hit it off, man. I was doing an independent album called The Evil Mind Gangsters, and he felt my homeboy mental illness. I don't know if a lot of people remember him talking about mental illness. Mental illness was a rapper. Y'all be hearing a little something about him, but he just took me up under his wing, man. The next thing I know, I was on the plane and in the studio, and next thing I know, he said he wanted to start this thug life thing, and I was like, I'm with that, and... We was in the studio, we did the first Thug Life song, it was called Thug Life. And um, everything else was just like a dream. Still living it right now. What did you think of, like what were some of the things that struck you about him when you met him? The fire in him, the fire in him, the fire in him. He was just, to me, he was just like a little homeboy that was leading the pack though. He was leading us to where we was trying to get and he was, just running full speed ahead, not not even looking what was in front of him. He just running straight ahead. Why do you think he liked you so much? Probably because I am the street. I am what you know what we talk about. I just he just gave me an opportunity to be a rapper, and now I consider myself a writer because everybody's quote unquote a rapper. So I'm not a rapper no more. I'm just a writer, and. Uh, that's what he gave me the opportunity to be something else that, that wasn't negative. Even though I might rap some negative raps or whatever people might take it for, that's not what, that's not the bigger picture. The bigger picture is I'm making money legally. I pay taxes now, so it's a beautiful thing. Did he? How did he influence you? How did your life, you talked a little bit about it, but I mean more on a spiritual or kind of uh, philosophical tip, how, how did you change? Well, personally, my moms and my pops are still together, so I always had morals. So the street is what made me big sight. But at home, I'm just their son, their baby, so they, the street had their baby. So I had morals, but what Pac gave me was to run no matter what, run for what you really want. And that no matter what nobody say, no matter how bad, it may get, just keep going, because you only fail when you give up. You only fail when you give up. So if I died trying to do what I wanted to do, I would never know that I even failed. Because in reality, I succeeded in what I tried to do, because I was doing it the whole time. 